Well, former 2008 Clinton campaign advisor Jammu Green and GOP strategist Philip Stutz. Thank you both for sticking around with us. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Philip, I'll, Philip, Philip, I'll start with you this time. Uh, sure. So have they set the bar too high? <laughs> well, they are very uh, positive. And, and, you know, you look at this as a reason that, you know, they're very positive in this uh, convention. There's a reason that Bill Clinton says, you know, he's that Hillary's a change maker. Uh, it's because she, her unfavorability rating is hovering around 60%. She is not liked. Uh, she is not looked upon favorably by all uh, most of the American voters. And they are trying to switch the narrative. Trust me on this. Uh, the Clintons do not go outside in the morning and do not put clothes on in the morning uh, unless they've taken a poll to see what the American <laughs> people think. So this is poll tested, and that's why they did it. Well, and Jammu, clearly these speakers are really trying to humanize Hillary Clinton based off of what Philip just said. I mean, the polls say that she does struggle when it comes to likability, when it comes to trust. What does she have to do when she gets on that stage to make her come across more likable? Well, I think that she has, one, acknowledged that she has work to do to build trust with voters. And I, I don't think we're going to see any different Hillary Clinton. That's, that's not who she is. I think President Clinton uh, laid out the case pretty well tonight when he talked about how much of a policy wonk she is. And anyone who knows her knows just how much she gets into the details. I, I'm not looking for, and I, I don't think the American people are looking for her to give a speech on the stage and be Martin Luther King. I think they're looking for someone who is going to be able to say, we know, I know that we're facing very challenging times, but we are stronger together. Mm -hmm. And someone who is going to bring the country together versus divide us with hate and very, very violent rhetoric. She has changed a little bit, though, Jimu. I mean, remember how she restarted her campaign uh, several times? She had the restart and then the restart. Um, she seems to have gotten a little more personable. Well, but turning now to the Trump trail, where the Republican nominee spent two days campaigning in North Carolina. Yeah, the Real Clear Politics Average poll now showing a very tight race with Hillary only two points ahead. So how can he win in the key battleground states? Uh, I'll start with you, uh, Phil. If you look at North Carolina, for example, look at that, 44-42. Yeah, the battleground states are tightening. Think about this. Hillary Clinton has run almost 15,000 TV ads since she had the, she, she won the nomination. Uh, Donald Trump has run zero, and he's starting to win in some of these states. It's just crazy. If, if the Trump campaign were actually able to put in some TV ads into these critical states uh, and continue sort of traveling into them, giving speeches, laying out his agenda. Listen, yesterday he was talking about the VA in North Carolina, a very pro-military state with a lot of, um, with a lot of vets. Uh, he laid out, a, a, I believe, a 10-point plan. Uh, he's got to keep doing that, and if he does that, he has the ability to sustain the lead and actually grow it. Well, uh, Jammu, you know, Mitt Romney, he narrowly carried the state of North Carolina uh, in the last presidential election, and then uh, President Obama won the state in the election before that. Uh, how do you think that it will shake out? I think Hillary has a good shot in North Carolina. I think that the conservative policies that have been uh, really ripping that state apart and you've got the NBA pulling out uh, are going to come back to, uh, to bite them. But uh, when it comes to uh, Donald Trump and uh, if he needs to run ads, why would he need to run ads? Because the media has this situation going where he sends out a tweet and it's like he, you know, uh, invented the wheel or something. Wow. How much money, free money, does he get because he, he does what the media wants, which is to create realize. controversy. If it bleeds, it leads. We report every, and time, sense, every time it Elizabeth out of Warren his sends out a tweet, we report yeah. on and it. And I, and I think the Trump yeah. campaign realizes oh, that on. they Jim, get the Jim, you, 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 sound, you sound like <laughs> the Republican <laughs> primary <laughs> candidates complaining right he's, now. I mean, he, he, won the, he won the primary. He, he won. Did. I mean, he, he, did. he has and done this the right way in his way, the and the American voters have responded to it. Who it, he doesn't even have to say anything of substance. I don't think Donald Trump will put out an ad. 
during mm -hmm. the convention, even our network stopped coverage of the Democratic convention to give him an hour or so on Fox. Come on now. Yeah. This is this is well, not about what he needs to do in these battleground states. Hillary will run a strong coverage game. from Hillary Clinton and the amount of time that both Clintons have been in the public eye. She's had a long time yeah. to uh, be in the Added media up. as well. It's not the same. <laughs> right, we're going to we're gonna have to leave it there, I'll, Jim. I'll, I'll take a bet on that, and I'm not a betting person. All right, Jim. It, it doesn't equal up. Right. We'll leave it there. Grapes. Thanks, you guys. Have a good day. Thank you.